Hi, I'm James Ramsey, a group product manager here at GitLab. And I wanted to record a really quick video uh, giving you a run through of how I automatically compress my screenshots. So they look great and they're super small because this is something I do every day to share screenshots on Slack, to create release posts, um, updating um, documentation about features um, and all sorts of different things. So it saves me a lot of time and I wanted to share this improvement in, your, in my workflow with you so you can improve your workflows too. So let's take a screenshot to start with and have a look at what we've got. Right, so here's our screenshot. It's 123 kilobytes for this image. That seems a little large. If I was gonna have a release post, um, with 10 different features on it, highlighting all the new features in GitLab, this would quickly be many, many megabytes um, of images. So we need to compress this. Most of us, I hope, are familiar with Image Alpha and Image Optim, two great image compression tools. The first is a lossy compression tool. And so what it does is it, in the case of the PNG, it converts it from a 32-bit PNG 24 bits of information for the RGB channels, which allows 16 million different colors, um, and then another eight bits for transparency, down to a PNG8, which supports 256 distinct colors in a palette and eight bits of transparency. Um, and so if we run image alpha on this screenshot, we should see um, some nice improvements. And this is, it's like the most important way to make your screenshots small because screenshots don't have that many colors in them. Typically web applications and the things that I'm taking screenshots of, they're black and white forms or gray and blue buttons and I'm commenting on alignment or I'm describing what to click on. They're not high resolution photography. If I was trying to share a photo, I'd use a JPEG file, not a screenshot um, stored in a PNG format. So the first thing that uh, Image Alpha does is it uses the PNG quant library, um, which you can also use as a tool um, separately to reduce the color space. So here we've reduced it to 256. That's the default. That's the maximum numbers of color, number of colors you can have in a PNG 8 file. And we've got a 68% savings. Um, I found that you can actually go down to 64 colors without much problem. Um, I can't tell the difference between the original and this, and we've gotten an extra 5% savings. So first step, color quantization using a tool like Image Alpha or PNG Quant. The next step for small screenshots is to improve on the lossless compression. So we lost information, but we can also losslessly compress the PNG file as well. So Image Optim is a tool that does that. It uses the Zopfli algorithm, among others. Um, this is the most effective one. It's slow, relatively speaking, compared to other deflate compressing tools, but you get a very good compression from it. And so the result is an extra nearly 10% savings. So um, that's a nice improvement. Um, so we'll take that. So I guess this is manual. Hopefully this is what we're all doing today so that we get nice, great looking screenshots. But I don't wanna do this every time I take a screenshot. How can I combine all these things together? So what I've done is I've installed PNG Quant locally. I've installed Zopli locally. This is easy to do, brew install. And then I use a tool called Hazel. Let me show you how that works. So Hazel watches folders, um, to see if new files are added or changed. And I've created this rule called compress screenshots. And all it does is look for PNGs that have been recently added and then runs this little script. It calls PNG quant, reduces the colors to 64 colors, and it'll only save the output if it's actually smaller than the original input. So if someone's given you a really amazing image, you won't make it larger accidentally. And similarly, Zopfli, um, is then run on the output of that to get us those savings. Um, and I've also added a nice little notification so I know when it's done. So let's uh, see how this works in reality. All right, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that, which I think is a nice little landing page section. 
148 kilobytes, 29, and then down to 27. Didn't have to do anything. Just took my screenshot and then it's automatically been compressed and I received a little notification. I'm gonna write a blog post with detailed instructions how to set this up. Um, I hope this was useful. Uh, let me know if you've got any ideas for making images even smaller um, without any effort at all. Um, but thanks for your time.